Kara here. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the penny countertop that we're going to be doing. Um, so first, we sanded down the laminate countertop. And then we painted it with an acrylic black paint. And now we're just lining up the pennies over here, as you can see. Um, okay, so one thing I need to mention is about these half cut pennies so in order to make the design a little more co cohesive and um, just flow together more we're cutting pennies and first we went to the store and we got something called tin snips and they look just like these but they do not work so these are actually called aviation snips and these work much much better so you just want to cut your pennies line them up on the counter and then once you know your pattern you've lined them up then you can just go ahead and start gluing them down so that's the next step that I'm gonna do and I'll show you um, what that looks like hey guys um, so we're uh, finishing up on our uh, countertop project oh. What we have here is uh, we have all the pennies super glued on the countertop. Take the sink off and we uh, put this aluminum flash tape. I think that's what it's called. Uh, that way when we put the epoxy over on the countertop it doesn't drip over. And then we cover these holes where the faucet goes with more of that flashing tape. We stuffed it with some paper towels. That way it doesn't you know, that way just make, you know, make it sturdy. Uh, and we uh, wrap the countertop with um, this, uh, what's it called again, Carrie? Aluminum coil. Aluminum coil. What we did is uh, we measured, you're supposed to measure one eighth above the pennies. And then we super glued around to stick the countertop just take this to the countertop and then we nailed on let's see we have one two and three back here we just nailed three uh we just did three so hopefully it works still uh and our next step which is the last step which is the most intimidating step is to put the epoxy so hopefully that goes all well one thing joe forgot to mention is this right here. What I forget? Oh yeah, your favorite <laughs> part of the whole thing. Yes. Uh, okay, so this little one over here is the one to buy if you're going to glue down your pennies. And That's this big one right glue. here is the one not to buy because I'll insert a picture of what happened when we used this one and it's not pretty. So don't use this one. And use I think somewhere online, online this is somewhere you could use this glue, right? Yeah. So anyway, yeah, with, yeah, this pretty much just made it worse. Pretty much took the paint off. And it doesn't work. Pretty much what we bought is a Gorilla Super Glue. Any Super Glue works, but we use a specific Gorilla brand. But the actual Gorilla Glue doesn't do the job. Yep. So don't get that one. Now we mixed it. And he's going to pour it very, very slowly in a very steady stream. Skinnier one for there, huh? Yeah, I do. Now we're getting the blow ready. This place is gonna close at ten, like ten minutes. Here. Yeah, that's okay. We got, we got ten minutes. Oh yeah, we do. No, too late. Ready? Careful. Uh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now it's lit. Alright, now you just gotta put it on the countertop, but don't stay in one spot too long. And don't go too close. We 
uh, got the uh, epoxy on there, uh, bull torched it, and um, it looks pretty good. We don't see any bubbles anywhere. But, yeah, it looks uh, good. So far, yeah. there's no bubbles. I mean, some might come tomorrow, and we can just pop them with, like, a little pin. Okay. There's one right there. You can just pop that real quick with a little pin. A little pin. Like a... This. If you want to use that. There it is. Okay. Well, looks good, and we're going to see out. how it looks tomorrow. Yep. But we got to get out of here, because the place is going to close in, like, three minutes. All right, let's go. Hey guys, uh, we're back. Good morning. Uh, we're going uh, to go check out the epoxy countertop. Hopefully, nothing bad happened overnight. And, uh, Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Come on. Let it be good. So, uh, final result. It looks a little, uh, still looks a little wet. It does. It's I'm, very shiny. I'm tempted to touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it. I want to see. If how you're it gonna is. touch it, yeah, touch it somewhere like no one's gonna notice. Hey, it's hard. Is it? Yeah. Oh, look at that one. Don't. It's not looking there. Come on. It just looks cool because it's different. There's a few different ones. This is really cool. Oh, wow. This is so cool. It really brings out the pennies. Yeah. Before, it just looked really It was, like, really tiny. dull and, like, this is, like, the coolest countertop I've ever seen. I'm really surprised. So, do you we, think uh, it was worth all the time and effort I put into the putting uh, down the pennies? Uh, it's hard. I, uh, right now, it's really nice, but, like, what if I drive off of here and it cracks? <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> hopefully not. I'm not trying to be negative or anything. I just You're just trying not to get your hopes up. It's good to be true. I mean, it. everything just, so far, it seemed like everything came out the way we wanted. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it looks really I think overall it looks good. It's not think, perfect. Yeah, it's not perfect. But with do-it-yourself stuff, like, unless you're a professional or a really perfectionist, then... DIY stuff is always going to be, um, have imperfections. Or if you're just good at everything. If you're just good at everything, then <laughs> good for you. Start you your own business. You just one thing and then you get it and it's just like clicks and then... Yep. <laughs> but, I mean, for us, we're not perfectionists, so this looks pretty good. Yeah. Well, we're going to get to more, more renovations and we'll catch you later. See you. Oh yeah, okay. And another thing we did is, uh, as you can see here, we have a, we put a wrap thing around under the countertop. Just losing my words today. <laughs> <laughs> we put plastic. Plastic. <laughs> I don't know. It's not that about being in front of the camera. I just lose my words. Anyway. So what do I say? I'm video recording. Oh, hey.